world's changed. And you are right in the center of it. I don't know what's ahead, but all bets are off. Showtime Championship Boxing back, back at you with a bang. And this is, as we know, an absolutely loaded era for the 154-pound division, junior middleweight, super welterweight, whatever you want to call it. 99% uh, of the fighters that matter are under that, that, uh, that premier boxing champion's banner. We know a week from next weekend, September 26th, we're going to get that double Charlo pay-per-view, and specifically Jermel Charlo putting his title on the line against Jason Rosario, who won those two titles at 154 by knocking out J-Rock Williams. Three of the four titles will be at stake. Well, the winner of that fight could be on the hook to face the winner of this one on Saturday night when 25-year-old Erickson Lubin goes in there against Terrell Gaucher. Uh, Rashad, this is a sneaky good matchup here at 154 because... Gaucher may have either lost or maybe not always looked the best when he stepped up to the very elite level, but I look at him as a sneaky out, a guy with Olympic pedigree and experience, a guy who can really box and he's tough. I thought he beat Austin Trout in his last fight, but he got a draw. Obviously, the big name coming in here is Erickson Lubin, the younger guy, but both guys can win this fight. And when you're talking about the winner being a mandatory for that WBC title and the fact that the winner of Charlo Rosario is going to have to fulfill that mandatory, we're starting to put the storylines together. You know, I beat this guy. I'm going to have to fight this guy. Division's loaded. We got Erislandi Lara. We got J-Rock Williams, Jarrett Hurd, Brian Castano, Tony Harrison. We got enough for like a 12-man tournament. But uh, how much have you seen, Rashad, of the hammer, Erickson Lubin? Because this guy's hungry. I've I seen a bit of him. I watched a few highlights of him. Uh, you know, he's got super fast hands and just, um, you know, he, he's got that dog in him. You know, I think that, you know, um, being knocked out by Charlo is really kind of lit a fire under him. And he's kind of got this mentality where, you know, he feels like the underdog. He feels like people are counting him out. You know, um, there, there's there's nothing that's going to keep him down. I was watching some videos when he was training, you know, during the pandemic and was just, you know, mentally motivating himself. But, you know, he's, he knows that he talked himself into, uh, talked himself into this fight. You know what I'm saying? Calling out Gosha and, and just, you know, talking all that trash. And whenever you talk that trash, you have to train at this level. You have to, because that, that trash talking, that does not sit well when you got your butt whipped. <laughs> Yeah, look, Lupin is hungry. I have not see, heard this level of trash talk out of him before. I talked to him last week about this fight, and he's fired up. He thinks it's the, his time now to become the face of this division. We mentioned 25 years old, and he now thinks that loss to Jermel Charlo in 2017, first-round KO, it was devastating, right? He now looks at that as a blessing in disguise, something that he ultimately needed to have happen to him in order to... Uh, learn what he needed to learn and since then he's bounced back three four good looking wins he retired Ishay Smith he came in there against Nathaniel Gallimore in his last one and looked absolutely fantastic just shut him down uh he's hungry and ready he's got that big left hand he called him the hammer for a reason but he's a guy who could have gone the long Olympic amateur route and made that decision at what 18 to turn pro originally promoted by Mike Tyson and he's really working himself together I love the relationship he's having right now with coach Kevin Cunningham he's a tough ass doesn't take no crap has a history of working well with soft paws like Devin Alexander. So this is going to be a good fight because Gaucher, if they make this a X's and O's battle, I could see him really banking some rounds and getting in there. It's going to be up to Lubin to let that left hand go and be the aggressor and make a statement here. And Rashad, as we mentioned, uh, I can't wait for that Charlo Rosario fight. Uh, I love me some of these Lions only Charlos, but uh, Jermel's going to have a fight. Have you seen this guy, Banana, Jason Rosario? It's a big right hand, brother. Yeah, yeah, he does have a big right hand, and uh, and Charlo's gonna have to watch out for that. You know, whenever you're going against a guy with that big right hand, it has the ability to get you out of that one big right hand. You can be hot for the whole night, but you always got to make sure that big right hand. But Charlo is so defensively sound, you know, and, and just and just got that that presence in in, in the uh, the ring that I don't think that big right hand is gonna be a factor. I think he's gonna find a way to neutralize it and just do what he does. Can't wait for that. Don't forget September 26th, Showtime pay per view. world's changed and you are right in the center of it i don't know what's ahead but all bets are off ah! 